Hola YouTube, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Daddy Annie. And if you're new here, bienvenidos. First off, good morning. It's like nine in the morning. I don't even know what I'm doing up. But yesterday I went to the supermarket to get some goodies so I can be able to make the recipe that I'll be making today. This is my second time making this recipe and I'm going to try to make this recipe just from my mind i'm not going to be reading any recipes it is very very easy um this is an american or southern dessert and this is literally the easiest dessert i've ever made today i'm going to be showing you how i make banana pudding i am not making this dessert for me but I felt like doing something in the kitchen today so I decided to make this banana pudding and it's super duper easy so I said why not you don't have to bake it you don't have to do much of anything and let me tell y'all yesterday when I went to the supermarket there was literally two bags of bananas left and I had to grab one of them because I wanted to make this recipe and I put it in a brown paper bag to see if it would ripen fast enough it didn't it like ripen a little bit more but i'm still gonna do it hope it comes out good so let's talk about the ingredients that i'm going to be needing for this pudding i have condensed milk here this is what i was able to find in my local supermarket i miss walmart walmart be having the sheets i have whipped topping vanilla extracts vanilla pudding but I have leftover banana pudding mix from the last time that I made this dessert. So I'm going to be mixing a little bit of this banana pudding into this vanilla pudding mix. Milk and a big part, the Nilla, Nilla wafers. And to balance things out, I'm going to be adding a little bit of salt and I have my bananas and then I have this right here and I have my little whisk I need to buy me a mixer I don't have one so I'm gonna be using this cute little thing I like cute little gadgets like this I don't know why I'm like I don't know I'm a big consumer and I have this uh, what is this called container a uh, glass container but I'll be making the dessert or putting the dessert together here. I was looking for a smaller one, but couldn't find it. So I'm gonna put it here. All right, so first things first, wash them hands. So in here, I'm going to put the vanilla pudding mix, a little bit of the banana pudding mix. Got my cup measure. I'm gonna need two cups of cold milk. That's one, and that's two. I'm gonna mix this. I have to mix this for maybe about two minutes or maybe longer since I have this little whisk. Oh, oh my God, okay. After a good arm workout, this is what the mixture looks like. It's very thick. Now I'm going to add my condensed milk. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mix that together. Okay. And once all that is incorporated, I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla extract and because I am a believer that all sweet desserts should get a little bit of salt just going to add a little tiny bit of salt mix that in all right now we're going to mix <coughs> eh, my morning voice now we're going to mix in the cold with topping. God, baby. This is harder than I thought. I don't know what's harder, making this dessert or opening this thing. Jeez. I 
got my little spatula here and I'm going to fold in the cool topping, cool whip topping. And this takes a lot of patience and this has to be delicate because you want this to be very fluffy. So you gotta whip it, whip it, and whip it. So you have to just fold it instead of stirring it or mixing it together. The rest of it. I think I'm gonna leave a little bit for tomorrow's breakfast to put it on top of my pancakes. Okay, and once everything is incorporated, it looks like this. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh yeah. Gotta give it a tasty taste. Oh yes. It's very sweet. <clears throat> I don't like sweet desserts. Well, I don't like overly sweet desserts. But the person that I'm making this for loves sweets desserts, so this is going to be just fine for them. Alright, so I found a smaller container and I'm going to make it here instead because I want to make as many layers as possible. I'm probably only going to get like two layers, but I'd rather it here because in the bigger one is going to be a lot of dessert. So, first let me bananas are not the best okay. these bad boys I'm gonna start with three bananas first I'm gonna cut the bad ends okay. I'm just gonna slice them You don't have to put them all around, but I want to do it that way, so I'm going to do it that way. Then next, I'm going to put the bananas on top of the wafers, and I like to overlap them. going to put a good amount of this mixture if you're not a good dessert maker like me well it's not that I'm not good at dessert I just hate baking because I feel like baking is way too precise so if you're one of those people this is actually a very very cool dessert to make and it's so easy and if you're into sweet desserts, this right here is your jam. Okay, so I'm just trying to make this as smooth of a layer as possible. Now, another layer of the wafer. Wafers down, now another layer of bananas. It looks like three bananas are going to do it. But if you're one of those people that like to eat banana on the way as you making this dessert, then definitely slice another one. And I'm just trying to fit in the rest of the bananas, but Wash mm. my hands and put 
and mix. This is so peaceful. All right. So that's that. And just to make the top look pretty, I'm going to take some of the vanilla wafers. That's a lot, so I'm going to get a Ziploc bag. Okay, so I have a Ziploc here. I'm going to put two, four, why not 10 okay get the air out and I'm going to relieve some frustration for that now I'm going to sprinkle sprinkle some of the vanilla wafers on top that make this look pretty and this will kind of give you a hint if you can't see already from the layers that there is wafers in them and obviously, if you're already familiar with this dessert, then you already know that there's wafers in here. But I like making things look pretty, so. Okay. Let me fix this up. So you can see me. Okay. And here you have easy no bake dessert easy breezy a see that oh layers layers <laughs> layers <laughs> buen provecho so the final step for me is put some saran wrap on top put it in the fridge to cool and that's that. You actually won't be tasting this until like the end of the day, so I don't know if I'm going to record that part, but we've reached the end of this video. If you like this video, leave this video a thumbs up, comment down below. Matter of fact, comment down below if you want to see more cooking videos from me, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Ciao! <laughs>